Okay, welcome back everybody to GamesCon 2017. This is now the grand finals of <laughs> with uh, NLD versus Forskia. Um, pretty much, you know, rematch of what happened earlier today in the upper bracket finals. The same two bands coming out, the, the Venomancer and the Pugna. I guess they decided, hey, we'll give, uh, you know, no chill the, the Venom, but we're definitely not giving it to NLD. And they're going to pick up the Bristleback, kind of the... Uh, the flavor that we've seen here uh, for like what the last three games or so um as it's been all day it's me abruzix and uh with me is tyler hello you know i'm, I'm tempted just to say daredevil remaining. but i'm gonna call you, you call tyler. me whatever don't say that otherwise i'm gonna make a jimmy Five joke remaining. um but yeah then faces Reserve void to be banned out after the the marana by nld um who had the faces void in the game earlier? Was it Forsky or was it NLD? Or do you not remember? Uh, NLD was Cole on. Yeah, and they had a Sky Rat that game, right? On Void. Yep. Um, that was the first game. Yep. Yeah. So, I don't know if maybe they have a certain strat that they want to go for, and they're like, oh, faces void really messes this up. Like, if they're going to do something with melee. Um, I, I feel like that's what it is, probably. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I can't think of anything so, else really that that would be like, oh, like. Well, that's that's what they've done every time, right? Like the first games they banned two a uh, jug and life stealer because of the Skyrath combo with Void, right? Yep. And then the second game they banned Legion Commander and uh, who was the other Legion clear? Oh, Earthshaker. Yep. Who they'll pick up? Which, uh, surprising. I thought I would see Earthshaker more. Like I expected him to be in the other series, but he wasn't at all. Um, the one with the the Terror Blade. Or do you mean just in general? Just no. I mean, I mean, I mean, the series. last series we watched with uh, Forskia versus uh, No Chill. I expected, I think, at least them to pick her Shaker once, but they. Five seconds remaining. But they didn't. he was in the first game, and after that, pick. nothing. Okay. All right, Crystal Maiden actually gonna be picked Radiant up. Kind of interesting choice there. Um, I feel like maybe not the best pick, especially after Witch Doctor and Earthshaker. I mean, I mean it, sure, you don't get your ult off, but, like, the pass is good with Bristol. Uh, she's just an all-around good support, and, honestly. You know, and if you have another hero that can babysit, or if the safe lane is sufficient by themselves, she can go jungle, right? Yep. Um, the Viper ban, though, is kind of interesting. So I'm guessing either they're going to try to go for a TA or Huskar. Those are the only two heroes I can think of. I mean, or OD, I guess. Does OD care? Um, yeah, kind of. Okay. Most people, maybe like Invoker as well. Yeah. Ten seconds remaining. But those are the mid lanes that are really that would really care. I'm thinking it's gonna be Five TA though. Remaining. Um, I don't really see them ever pick it for for anything else. Reserve time. Um. But yeah, like I said, I guess we'll see. <laughs> but um. Also, the Kunkka ban, I guess, is just because, what has it been? It's been Shen's been playing the Kunkka, or has it been, uh... They actually, been the, they actually banned the, the TA. TA um, yeah. And, and it's Kunkka's be, it's only played be. by Nasco. Okay. It, it's, teams turn to pick. it's gotta be Huskar, right? Like, Huskar or OD. The only thing I can really think of, especially now. And there are two heroes BDK plays quite a bit. So, yeah. if we're going back to the original uh, lane, lane setup, yeah. BDK would be playing, and most likely playing him in. Tusk. Or, well, it's a, it's probably it's a fourth position. Tusk. Yeah, so it's gonna be off lane shaker like they're and they've been playing it. <clears throat> yep. Spirit Breaker actually gonna get picked though. That's kind of interesting, kind of the hero that we saw banned I'm, out in the two. I'm actually earlier. certain they picked Bloodseeker. I'm I'm sure it hasn't Just been banned. <laughs> uh, Na Nasco plays it almost like all the time. Uh, like, I, at least once is once a once a stream. And I think it's just the thing of like. Yeah, you could pick it. Five seconds. But I mean, it's it's really good against Bristol because like he can't run you down. Spirit Breaker is all about movement. Reserve so. Time. But I mean. <laughs> you also have the, you also have the strategy of the tusk kick. Yeah, but there's I no mean, there's no coddle this game. Like if they were gonna do it, I think they would have picked coddle, most definitely. It could also be like a mid tusk. Like BTK has that build, uh, where he gets like veil, <laughs> which is uh pretty funny. 
But does Veil even do that much? I mean, I guess I guess Snowball and <clears throat> Ice Shards, right? Snowball but, and Ice Shards, yeah. And then combo with your team. Um, they do have a Shaker, so it's not like it would be bad. I just think it's okay. Not the Invoker. <laughs> okay, so so it is it is the fourth move. Yeah. Um, so looking at carries yeah. for for NLD. Well, I guess we'll wait for this, right? We'll wait for this pick. I I feel like it's still Bloodseeker. I really still feel like it's Bloodseeker with the. Uh... What do you call it? What's the um, alacrity? Oh, like... Alacrity Bloodseeker is like ridiculous. I guess you can still deafening blast someone, right? Yeah, as I said, you have the the kick. Five seconds remaining. I would assume Bloodseeker. Reserve okay. Time. Um, if not Bloodseeker, what what other hero is like actually good against good against Purcell? I mean, you can get Silver Edge on Bloodseeker as well. Um, I don't think. Well, Sven's not. No, very you don't. Good. Uh, I was thinking Sven originally, but I was like, mm, maybe not. Uh, I just don't like the Sven because of the because the Earthshaker. Like I, I mean, you if you fish are wrong, then it's like whatever. But like Bloodseeker, this is a move speed. I mean, I guess it's probably not the the best here, especially since we're talking about Silver Edge carries. I was like, but I mean, so far Gyro is not looking the worst, right? But. Just kind of Gyro's thing. not bad. I just I don't know. Like I really I I would assume Bloodseeker. I I would say like eighty percent Bloodseeker. Okay. I feel like no one's gonna the uh, Tusk pick. Like I feel like that that's the reason why. No like... no, because like they pick. I I'm pretty sure they picked Invoker and Bloodseeker together. Oh, before. there's Life Stealer. Um, Radiant Team Ban. Kind of an interesting choice. I mean, I feel like whoever he goes on, if he rages, then they just get snowballed, and he just wastes his rage. Just hold on to the snowball as much as possible. Um, also, they have three melee, right? Like, that's kind of one of the things that Shaker would enjoy. Is having three melee heroes that are going to be kind of stacked upon each other. Yeah. Um, also, th with the Lena ban, I, I honestly feel like... I still feel like it's a Bloodseeker. Like, that just kind of reinforces it for me. Like, you put Blood Rage on yourself, Lena's just going to blow you up. Yeah. <laughs> um, remaining. It may also just be they don't like the matchup. Of Invoker versus Five Lina, but well, this is a Shen draft here, so you you might be right. It it might end up being you know Bloodseeker. Once again, we, here, we right? can't tell. We yeah, can't we, tell we, because we can't of all the drafts from before. Okay, and they actually banned out Slark, which is <clears throat> actually Slark would have been a pretty good pick too, right? Uh, Silver Edge Carrier. I think he does not do very, he doesn't do amazing against Bristle early back, though. Because yeah. like if you jump Bristle, then he's just gonna Quill turn, turn and hit yeah. you. Seconds remaining. It's okay against Ice Healer, you can purge off open wounds. Uh, I don't think PA is too particularly good. Five seconds remaining. Hey, could I bring... wouldn't pick PA this game just because uh, I feel like Spear Breaker would be a All big over. problem. Just, con just controlling you the entire game. Yeah. Ursa Warrior. Ursa. Ursa. It's not bad. It, it's, it's good because it, it can fight Life Stealer. It can purge open wounds with the ulti. Uh, it, can, it can definitely 1v1 Bristol back. He's like the king. Ursa's like the king of 1v1, so you can 1v1 fucking axe. Well, and that's the thing, right? I, I think this comes up every single time we've casted this. I always say, like, well, don't life steal and Ursa kind of, like, balance each other out until, like, a certain point in time? Um, if if he open wounds, Ursa just hits R, and then it removes it, right? Like, you just hit ulti and it removes it. He does no damage to you. He can heal, but, like, it's not going to do nearly as much as the damage you're doing to him. Yep. Like, both of them, both of them want to hit each other, right? So, like... But the thing is, Ursa's ulti is damage reduction, so yeah. like Ursa's just gonna win that fight. Uh, especially if he does that, like you know, does better early. <clears throat> but uh, I think the main thing is they have two taxis for life stealer. They have Spear Breaker and Queen of Pain. Yeah. Uh, the main thing though comes down to like Queen of Pain's positioning, which he blinks in. And even technically like, Bristleback later, right? Like you can hide in him. Yeah. Well, but I think the preferable ones are Spear yeah, Breaker. Two. Definitely those two. I'm pretty sure Spirit Breaker is actually going to be like the the number one, right? Because Queen of Bane wants to be close, but not necessarily. Well, that's what I mean, that, right? Yeah. That, that's like you blink in your in your uh, miss, you misstep, you're probably dead. Okay, well, this is going to be game one underway. I'm going to pause. Customary pause is going to come out. Make sure no one disconnects. I guess. And once again, I'm super zoomed in for some reason. I don't know why my game does that. I'll zoom out now. So, these are kind of the more 
standard picks, right? Like, I wouldn't say there's anything like completely un like crazy in this lineup. Um, uh, maybe from that, NLD, both like, both teams. The, I maybe mean, maybe that Tusk. <laughs> it's still kind of no, no, no. Tusk is. I see he's making a comeback just because the snowball is just such a good ability. Yeah, honestly. My game just like defaultly just like scrolls in. By the way, I think it's just because it's loading. Yeah, it it does that for me as well. Like default loads, in, it default scrolls in. I don't know why. Wow, really, really, guys, really. <clears throat> but no, yeah, both drafts are pretty pretty normal. The tusk is probably the most crazy thing. Uh, actually, no, no, actually, I'd rather say the Witch Doctor is the craziest thing, like, if we compare it to recent games of, of Pro Dota, like, no one picks that hero. Yeah, well, I mean, he's picked up every, every now and then, but not as often as like it used to be, right? Yeah, yeah, right? <clears throat> I guess he's just falling out of favor com compared to other sports. Well, I think somebody was saying, like, along the lines of, like, that's too much RNG on his balances, and his talents aren't, like, too great. I mean, they're good, but they're not, like, um like broken right like some heroes like some supports just have this like really 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 good talent tree and his is yep. like okay right like 25 percent experience gained and then 200 hp like i mean you pretty much always pick the experience um oh <laughs> the dust gonna break um and then like at level 15 like 90 damage and two casket bounce or two cast bounces kind of a tough choice i mean it's kind of like I would say I would say that you take the cast bounces most of the time. Well, see, I was thinking about that, but think about like Crystal Maiden, right? Like you took the sixty damage for Crystal Maiden. Yeah, but the real thing is two cast bounces is one hundred fifty damage each. Well, at level at max level, right? So. Yeah, but like by the time you're level fifteen, it should be max level unless you're holding skill points for yeah, some reason. And then level uh, twenty, I mean, you have fifteen magic resistor, eight armor. That's just that is a. Can you take the, what, uh, the armor. What defense? What defense do you need this game? That's pretty much all that is. Well, yeah, Most of the time, you're going to take armor, because yeah. you have one. Yeah. Uh, level 20, you probably got, like, five base armor. Oh. Five or six, or something like actually, that. They get frozen. Are they aggro trying, mm -hmm. actually? I just thought about that. Yeah. Uh, it's actually, like, not bad, because... Oh, I mean, they what, they what had the Witch Doctor there that might have been a dead Crystal Maiden. No um... <clears throat> well, that's the thing, right? Their lane is actually really, really weak. Like, you know? Spear Breaker's not going to be able to, like, Spear Breaker's going to charge mid and wow. everywhere else. Wow, so B BTK was going to try to fight for the rune, and then he crashed, <laughs> so he actually, I think he denied it, actually, it's not, it's not there, and him and Quop didn't get it. <laughs> um, interesting. Maybe she, well, maybe Quop denied it, actually. I don't know. I really don't. I mean, there's no... Someone, someone, someone died. The problem is, I think BTK is dead. <clears throat> Most likely. I mean, it's getting charged. No, but actually, and... she might not be. Like, even if he is dead, right? I actually don't feel like this is a. Word. I like, as I really don't think he can actually die. What? Speedbreaker, he's hit, the stun is one point two seconds. Yeah. Like, he's just gonna run. He he has five hundred sixty five health, and the Quap has a thirteen second shadow strike cooldown. Okay, but let's, let's, let's... Okay, well, someone's messaging me now. And, and I mean, even if he does die, right? Like, sure, the Quap gets first, first blood, but the, the lanes are gonna meet. Yeah. Like... You're you're a solo safe lane shaker. I don't think you care too much about well, dying. He's, he's still gonna fight. fighting it, yeah. <clears throat> like, look at my, like, like, here's the thing. Cold just pretty much got a free start to his lane because... Queen of Pain, all right, yeah, she's actually gonna go and- Oh, that's so close, so close. I mean, he's still dead. The thing is though, is I would say space created even for first blood. Like, also, if he, he's gonna die to the, he didn't even- Yeah, yeah he didn't even give up first blood. I either. feel like, well, I feel like he should've just died because he just gave 268 gold to each of them. So that's over 700 gold given. Um, I think it's actually split by the way. I'm looking at Queen no, of I'm it's looking two, at it's 268 each. She yeah. bought an item. Yeah, she bought a, a salve though, right? And she has less than 100. So that that'll give her 200 and something. <clears throat> like that's not a, that's not 260 whatever. I guess. Uh, I think it splits it. It says each, but I think it's split. 
Very good. I mean, valve. look at a uh, look at Bristleback, right? Unless <clears throat> Bristleback also bought something. Quick attack. Console, no one hears you. Nice to know. Uh, well, it had to have given Bristol at least 200. Because he has boots, calling blade, calling blade, tango, and, uh, and a mango. That's yep. the boots, the mango, and the tango are already 625. I don't know how it splits it. Yeah, I don't either. It's kind of weird. It says it says two. It says whatever. each, but I think I think maybe <laughs> I, Quop, I mean maybe Quop didn't get the two sixty eight. She wasn't <clears throat> in the the death range, right? Yeah, maybe. I think she gets credited so the assist, yeah. but that's it. Because Speedbreaker has a stout shield or venom and tangos as well, so like he, he is three hundred gold. Yep. Yeah. Uh, BTK Either way, yeah. Bottom, I, so BTK I, might I actually, get a kill here. Oh. Yeah, you will. He got the kill. So he's gonna die right after that. So. <clears throat> I mean, but the real thing is like the aggro try is gonna work out better for them. You have an Ursa. You have a a witch doctor and a tusk in a lane versus a life stealer Who and a crystal maiden. Is. Crystal maiden tries to help, she just dies. Like they could probably go on her and they see her. Okay. And she only has enough mana right now for one more frost uh, frost bite. I mean, she has the clarity, but you know. Well, the better the better example is also look at look how life stealer is playing. He can't get near the creep bite. Yeah. Like, I mean, he knows if he gets too close for wait and this crystal maiden is not there, he's dead. And even I think if crystal maiden freezes one person, he still dies. Yeah, and that, and that's the problem when you have like a spirit breaker. Your 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 lane. Your other lanes are normally really strong, but if he doesn't gank safe lane, it's just gonna suffer it's because okay. your lanes are technically weaker because you're missing one support. Yeah, he's actually gonna charge mid. Uh, Shadow Strike gonna come out, charge gonna hit. Uh, let's see if he gets a bash level 3. <laughs> gonna hit the Sun Strike, gonna turn it around. Uh, he can't salve up yet. He can eat a tree. He's gonna use the Fairy Fire actually. Interesting choice. And he's gonna eat the tree after that. And he's gonna salve. Okay. Uh, Spirit Breaker trying to find the angle on him to see if he... There he goes. Sees him, Strap Strike will come again. If charges up... Uh, uh, nah, they're not gonna go for it. He's good now. Um, I think if he gets Strap Strike one more time, I think he charges him. Uh, Invisible gonna be sitting bottom. Meanwhile, Shen just kinda waiting over in the side. Life Stealer, yep, they're just still sitting there. Can't do anything. Uh, <laughs> Back to bottom. Lysir's sitting at one last hit compared to the 17 that Ursa has. Yeah. I, I honestly feel like they need to rotate lanes. Uh, BTK bottom. Gonna miss the, the stun. You're gonna charge on Cole. Cole might be dead. He just got bashed. Well, yeah. I don't know why I didn't look to mid. I forgot Cole will be playing mid. And BTK's on the, uh, whatchamacallit, the shaker. Okay, Shen gonna kill on the Crystal Maiden. I tried the ward. Double supports over there. Uh, Spirit Breaker gonna be charging bot. Um, I think he cancels this, or is he just getting the rune? Nope, he's, he's completing the charge. He has no mana. All well, they see that he's playing aggressive, right? So all they need to do is right click him. Yep. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He does have the wand though. Yeah, he already used it. I was like, yep. Spirit Breaker better be careful, otherwise he'll get hit by the tower. Um, pretty good play by him. That by BTK, you know, holding on to it, could order more tangos. So he should be good for a little bit longer. Meanwhile, life still is staying at level three. <laughs> Got hit one time and decided to back. Um, you think he just takes the jungle now? Like, No, I, I honestly feel like you just rotate your, <clears throat> your, uh, bristle. Okay. You rotate your bristle and then you, you honestly just put the life stealer 1v1 against the, the shaker. But I mean, I feel like they just because like, uh, well, no, see the main thing though is like Shaker's main damage source right now is aftershock. He's he's gonna max after. He's not yeah. he's not maxing Enchant Totem. He's not maxing Fisher. So like, if you see Shaker coming up to you to try and uh, Enchant Totem, you just hit Rage and then you just open wounds and hit him. <clears throat> he'll do better in the lane bottom than he'll do top. And at least Bristol back will just be able to uh, hopefully last it with the quills and. Ooh. Ooh, this is. Oh, he's not gonna. Seven get it. I, don't, I don't think he's gonna get it. Three fifty-five. Yeah, he's got it. I think he's got it. This is the. Oh, no, no he doesn't engine. have it. This is all and in that on. Bash. Nah. Seventeen percent. I mean, honestly, it was just the the, the what's it, like a f movement speed difference of five. No, it's the same, right? No, no. Uh, like Thirty-five 20. and fifty-five. Yeah, it's but I mean, speed. I feel like for twenty movement speed, that wasn't much. Like. 
No, no, 20 movement speed really isn't. Like, it's only a lot when you you have a like a range stun. When you're auto attacking, you you lose quite a bit. Yeah. <clears throat> you lose a, I don't know, 100 units, at least 100 to like 300 units when you auto attack. Yeah. So. Crystal Man's actually smoked up. I think she was good trying to maybe do something mid until the Tusk popped her smoke. Kind of interesting there. She's gonna plant the ward. He sees her with the illusion. Uh, Tusk is actually TPing bottom. Witch Doctor is actually just sapping experience, by the way. Oh, never mind. What? What? That was weird. He was up there. He was up on top of the hill, and then he moved away. Uh, okay. I mean, the reality of this, though, is Nasco's getting a free lane right now. Yeah. I'll dig that. I mean, but, uh... No, actually, well, I was like, Cole's winning the mid lane, even at that, you know, that one gank mid. Done pretty well, sitting at uh, 34 and 17 over the the Quops, uh, 25 and 7. Yeah, and in terms of CS, he's winning. Was well, that uh, actually in terms of CS for all lanes? I think. Uh, well, the NLD was winning, except for the the bottom lane, right? Yeah. And even then, that one's like actually relatively close, probably closer than it should be. Yes. Um, yeah, Life is just gonna go jungle now. So. <clears throat> yeah, I see that's. I I I feel like that's the wrong play. You think you uh, stay in Because I feel, as I said, they should switch lanes. They should they should put Lice to their bottom. And any time you think he's going to hit you with the <laughs> the uh, enchant totem and aftershock, you just rage and hit him. Oh, well, it looks like Cole's going to be dead. He got charged mid. Uh, nothing They're going to, they, they are going to trade, though. Yeah. They're going to TP bottom and get the, get the Bristol back. Because there really wasn't anything the sports could do for Cole mid there. Now, Crystal Maiden's kind of in dangerous yeah. territory. She'll get her boots here, and she has TP. Okay, good. Feels like you know she can't really do much else. Level two actually. Now hitting level three through that experience top lane. A uh, spirit breaker walking around a little bit. I don't know quite what he's doing. I guess he's just waiting for some of the charge, right? And there he goes. He's gonna pick uh, ETK bottom. Well, the sports panel here both smoked up. So yeah, it's actually, yeah, they don't. It's gonna be a really good bait. Yeah. Well, it's, it's just actually... a little early, right? No, oh, that's, but that two-man stun, though. Oh. The coconut gonna bounce back and forth. Yeah, I'm with the maledict. Echo Slam gonna come out. Gonna be stunned, hitting him from behind. Oh, a lot of quills coming out. It's gonna have to be the Sunstrike deck. Actually gets him. Uh, BTK, BTK. Okay, BTK is dead. <laughs> Nothing they can do about that. Let him take the death. And hope that uh, Spirit Breaker can get someone else. Uh, I heard Queen of Pain blink. She's waiting over on the side. She's uh, gonna blink forward. Oh, no, she blink forward. Yeah, she blinked forward before. That's, um... Really interesting build from Queen of Pain. You mean going to the two in, two in Shadow Strike, Blink, and oh, okay, okay. one in Blink, and three in Scream. Um, I think it's because he's relying on the Spirit Breaker to do his ganks for him, right? So that way he needs more damage. Like he doesn't really care so much about uh, yeah, the Blink at that point. Also, Crystal Man's dead. Like, there's no way she can hide out. Like, she's just stuck there now. Yeah, she's gonna well, I just mean here. like uh, most people opt to just max Queen of Pain before even getting to Shadow Strike. That's yeah. Going. It's pretty, it's not bad. I mean, it's good for the, the slow, right? Like I said, Bristle, uh, not Bristle back. Uh, Spirit Breaker is going to be charging him and chasing him. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Like, what is, what is Lifestealer? And I think they're trying to help Lifestealer get level 6 and they'll maybe do a, a bomb. Um, showing his face in lane, Dyer's not much you can do there. Uh, bottom lane, a lot of stuff going on though. Queen of Pain and, and, and Tusk. And unfortunately, Tusk is going for a ride now. He's gonna go through. He didn't hit the Queen of Pain. Now he's kind of stuck here. He might throw Ice Shards. Uh, Queen of Pain can still. Ooh! And he's good. Made it out. I thought she was gonna blink forward and, uh, and E, actually. But she has the mana to do it now. And it's actually gonna be the Coconuts bouncing between the two. And he's actually. Pulled the TP out. He made it. Wow. wow that's two kills. They're they really lost good. Them. Really good play. And those are just for two supports, mind you. Right? And they committed that ulti. Yep. Um, Meanwhile, top lane, uh, Cole and Asuka just pushing the tower. Yep. Lysir, Lysir actually came up and died to, uh, died to Nasco. He got mean... way too many, he got way too many stacks on him. He got auto-attacked a few times and, uh, just decided, oh, I'm just gonna go back in. Okay. So now I have to remember so if you say stacks. the bear. I'm saying now I have to remember that when you say stacks, you're either talking about three swipes or you're talking about quills. Okay, yeah, well, Queen of Pain gonna get that nice regen. I don't know. If, I guess she'll save it, right? I mean, she has no reason to pop it early. Um, 
So is this a better build, do you think, for her going to the 2-2 two, two and 4, just because, like, she kind of had issues before? Um, I feel like you max blink second, so hopefully that's what he's doing now. Okay. So you think it might have been a misclick, or you think, like, he did it on purpose? No, 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 I, I feel like the level 2 Shadow Dagger, or 6 Shadow Strike is fine, uh, laning stage. I just feel like blink is better after laning. Okay. Uh, Bristleback charging, he's going on, uh, BTK, oh no, he's going on Chen. Uh, Shen doesn't have any vision that would have seen that. Um, that's how he's gonna take that. He's gonna get ultied. Oh, and he got the bash right after, but that Ursa came in just the right time. That's gonna be a dead bristle. I mean, good trade for them right here. Nasco's gonna try to chase. Uh, he has blink, but the problem's gonna he be will charge. charge. He's gonna he's probably charge. Yeah, he will charge away. Uh, so might be able to oh. go. I was like, oh, he stopped right there. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, if he didn't stop, I'm I'm assuming BTK was gonna try and fish her. Yep. Meanwhile, Crystal Maiden level four sitting in the mid lane. Not much going on there with her. Um, she's actually probably, like... she's just gonna die. Like yeah. I don't I don't know why she bothered coming mid. Actually, she's not. Whoa. Yeah, he actually canceled his one right that probably would have killed her. Snowball coming in. Oh, he didn't grab him. Yeah, so I believe Cole's dead, and Shen actually might be dead as well. I mean, he has 10 sticks, charges, he has a Witch Doctor there. The Coconut not going to be able to probably bounce to anybody. Probably just go to Creep, see if he had thrown it out. Uh, meanwhile, I'm Nasco actually... At bottom. I'm, I'm really, really surprised that the, the CM didn't die there. Yeah, Nasco's just beating the crap out of that that, uh, that Bristleback, though. Um, Bristleback. Okay, well, they're charging Nasco. Nasco probably sees that he could blink, so he's going to go under the tower. Coconut's going to come out. Oh, he canceled the charge. He yeah. should have let it hit. Yeah. I mean, he's dead now. I mean, Malik's gonna kill him or uh, the the fairy swipes, right? Um, the maiden get a ward. I mean, it's good. There's no vision that saw that. I mean, it's a basic warding spot. Uh, actually, I don't know. This this ward might have seen it. It depends on how she came down the steps. I almost saw the way she went back up. Uh, meanwhile, Lifesaver died top. I was not paying attention to that. Uh, they committed extra yep. slam for that though. So, you know, good. Dyer's middle tower isn't going to last so Queen of Pain has the veil now. Yep. Uh, um, which kind of means she has to play with her team now, right? Like, she's not going to be able to get any solo kills. I don't think. I mean, she might get one on, like, the support, right? But it has to be Witch Doctor, if anybody. If it's going to be a solo kill. But, I mean... Yeah. But, I mean, Spirit Breaker charging mid. Onto Cole again. Cole almost got a veil himself. Probably going to be tilted right here. Oh, he, he, he got cold snapped. I was like, he just canceled the charge. He's really trying to ulti here. It's just not going through, but he's finally going to get it off. He will be the ulti. Yep. Snowball going to come in. That's going to be a dead uh, Spirit Breaker, though. Not the most ideal trade, but, you know, Shen getting what he can at it. Oh, Nasco. Killing Spirit Breaker over on the back end. Not Spirit Breaker. Uh, Bristle back over on the back end. Queen of Pain going to blink and get nothing off, though. Um, just a lot of action going on around the map. Like, I'm catching, like, every, like, other kill. Yeah. Um, just because I'm not expecting oh. another fight to be happening at the same time, right? One one thing we haven't talked about as well is the rush potential of both teams. Like, you have you have the Nugu to reduce armor on the one side. Uh, Life Seeder can also open wounds so yeah. everyone heals while they hit him. But uh, you also have an Ursa on, on the Radiant. I mean, Nasco's actually pretty much ready to go now. I mean, he has the, the Morbid Mask, right? I dig that. And I think it's still early enough in the game that uh, Roche won't have too much HP. Um, and then he also can technically get assistance from Cole, right? Like, Cole can make a Forge Spirit. Or Alacrity, yeah. Or Alacrity, yeah. Uh, I'm curious now what Shen goes. Um, I think Shen's gonna start I think, with... I think he's gonna get a Silver Edge, I, I feel. Because if you're gonna go mech on Roaming Tusk, you normally get the Arcane. What? Okay, he all chatted that. He just casually all chatted Ursa. And the weird thing is, he didn't see him. They just all chatted Ursa for some reason. That's pretty interesting. Okay. Maybe they use. Well, we, do we see scans? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> Ursa had like the perfect time there. And they know there's smoke, but maybe they think he left. I mean, I don't know why they didn't check. I mean, I guess they fixed his ulti didn't kill him. They're actually gonna go on the mid lane, gonna go on the bristle back. Gotta hit him pretty hard, can stun him up. And. <laughs> maybe a little bit too much. Overcommitment there. Well, I feel like uh, Death Ward's fine. It, it's on the 80 second cooldown, so it's whatever. They use it whenever it's up to get a kill. It's good. I'm curious why Dyer didn't go check Roche. I mean, they saw the 
smoke go off. Uh, maybe they thought it was Kareem. Cause... I think that maybe just hanging around in there. Well, Kareem was smoked there, right? I don't, I don't know. I have no idea, man. Maybe they didn't think too much into it. Maybe not. I don't know, I just thought it was weird, right? Because, I mean, like, she committed an ulti and didn't go check, right? Because, I mean, what if he had, was just really, really low? Or what if he had gotten bashed by Roche at that, that exact moment, right? Like, if he didn't use the his ulti, yep. and he had gotten hit by like, I think you still go check. Um, so this Bristleback is actually going to go uh, Halberd. Halberd? Yeah, Halberd this game. Yeah, um, Halberd's, uh, I would say it's better than the Vanguard build, because, like, Ursa doesn't care about the Vanguard. He's yeah. just going to hit you anyway. Versus evasion and him being disabled is much better. Yep. So it's the main thing, right? If you're able to make it so you can't hit for 2.5 seconds or three. What is BTK doing? What's they BTK always change. Doing? Check to make sure no one else is there. He knows that the bristleback's there. Trying to see if he can get the Queen of Pain. And she does. I don't think the stun's even needed now. The problem is he's getting charged and he has no way out. He's banking on the fact that there's going to be. Yep. But his team is there. Yep. Like he's going to TP one. in though. Go throw the maledict. He actually has Death Ward back up again, but I think he's good. Um, he'll just kind of have to not even juke it out. He just runs. And that's a pretty good kill for them. Um, and Queen of Pain dead again. She don't know what item she's working towards. I imagine it's an Orchid. But at the same time, I mean, that kind of set her back a little bit. I mean, she had a lot of money just pulled up, right? Um, Nasco has um, what I imagine to be a basher coming to him. Yep, full basher coming. Uh, hopefully he's able to grab it because he's getting charged. Um, I think you probably speed up the carrier like you just did. He has Aegis. I mean, I don't know why exactly they want to fight him. Um, <clears throat> Maybe they think they can, uh... They think they can kill the bear twice. His entire team's coming up, though. But the main problem is, he doesn't have... Oh, he's gonna blink away. He just blinks away. They're like, gonna like, go back in. Yeah. And Queen of Pain may have just... Oh, no, 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 no. gonna come out, so is Death Ward. Death Ward gonna be channeled onto Spirit Breaker for some odd reason. Shen gonna try to just walk it away, even though he's poisoned on him. Is it no. Asuka just kills... <laughs> kills the life stealer. Everything. <laughs> Coconuts coming well, out. This this is a problem here that they they might need to address. The quills. Every time Nasco hits some <laughs> yeah. hits some after a certain point in time, it's gonna be a quill spray. Uh, but I mean, what do you what are you, you realistically do against that though? Uh, you just get silver edge. That's all you get. Silver edge will be good. Oh, you mean? So that. Well, I I, I I thought you meant like the the problem that NLD needs to address. <clears throat> yeah, that every yeah time... that's what it is. What? You just get silver edge. It doesn't pop because it's part of the passive. Oh, okay, 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 I see what you mean. Like, he could use it every, like, three seconds, but... Well, apparently, I mean... apparently he wants to go, uh... The Lincolns here. Um... I, I, Alright, I... so... Actually, Tusk is going Deso first item. Yep. Uh, which is fine. I mean... More my right? Um... I think it's just because they use it to kind of blow up more people now. You know, combo that into the Sunstrike. Like, it's actually what the, the deal is, uh, probably. Well, I'm just surprising that he didn't, you know, build a Shadow Blade or a Blink Dagger or something. Yep. Pre, also, like prior to the Deso. Most people just, deal uh, just casually took out a uh, Life Stealer. He's over here fighting the uh, the Spirit Breaker. He's gonna pay for it though with his life. I'm um, doing what damage he can though. Maybe hoping for some truck. He actually bought back. Classic BTK buyback. Uh, sold his headdress. I don't know what he was gonna get with that. I think he, I, he, I've seen him do it before, where he'll buy a headdress if his lane's not going amazing, and he'll just use it in, uh, to jungle, because yeah. it gives a decent amount of regen. Well, they're pinging out, they want to go and lose Queen of Pain. It's the Ursa. Oh, he blinked in, but she blinked away. I think he's banking on the first hit bash, too. I mean, kind of has to, right? Um, yep. Meanwhile, Lice, they're actually going to go away from him, even though they were pinging the, uh, the Ursa. I don't know if they were just saying, like, hey, we need to get this guy, we should avoid this, help me out. Um, Life Stealer now going for both Echo Saber and Deso next. Uh, like, looking at the Queen of Pain again. Um, but they don't know that ward's there, right? Uh, they might think there's a sentry of some sort. Meanwhile, Invoker gonna pick up his eggs. So Cole doing pretty well now for himself. Um, but other than that, I mean, I think most teams, or both these teams, are just gonna, like, kind of farm around the map, right? Well, maybe not. They're going to charge Cole. Uh, he 
probably will can't. Yeah, I was like, he'll definitely cancel this, especially with that vision coming out. He was going to get tornado in the bottom lane, though. Looks like Bristleback going to go on to uh, Shen. Shen just going to snowball by himself a little bit of time and then walk away. If they go uphill, they're going to be walking right into uh, what will be a coconut and a death ward. They're actually trapped uh, yeah. on that side of the hill. Yeah. Now, Queen of Pain going to try to secure her kills. She actually might be able to get a second one. Uh, Yule's going to come out. Didn't realize she had that. Uh, hole in trouble, he has no mana and no, um, no shrine there either. Crystal Man gonna ult just for good measure just in case he uh, goes walk, gonna sun check himself. And three gonna go down for the price of the Bristleback. Um, they actually might even go for. Never mind, they might even go for Nasco. Nasco actually just gonna jump in on them, realize he can't do anything there. Uh, I think they're a little bit too spread apart in LD. Well, they, the uh, they didn't have their safe lane or their off lane. Yeah. But it's kind of those things that they didn't know they were gonna go on Shen, right? Um, and then if they had gone uphill more, like if they had waited maybe like a couple of seconds for Bristleback to come up and maybe someone else, you can get the actual Gold coconut bounces instead of the singular one. And then uh, the Witch Doctor had to cancel his ulti like early just because he took the, uh, the Scream of Pain, right? Scream of Pain? Sonic Wave. There you go. Um, just looking in terms of items though... The Bristleback is actually quite helpfully uh, towards his, his Halberd. He'll have it probably in the next four minutes or so. Four minutes or so, assuming he doesn't die. Um, accident would realize that Witch Doctor had his Glimmer Cape. I don't know if he had it in that fight or if he picked it up after he died. Um, uh, uh, Cream had it in that fight. Okay. Meanwhile, XP and uh, net worth about the same. A little bit less than 10k in favor of NLD. Um, I guess it's kind of neat having this little box that says oh it's 8k in favor of a team saves me from having to pick up uh or do one of the tabs for the, the charts but at the same time doesn't help me when it comes to experience <laughs> yeah um also do you think Ursa is going to pick up an ags at any point in this game uh i really don't think so they're <laughs> like what else there's spear breaker and i mean you probably can activate your ulti prior to that if you think that's gonna be a problem. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, he is uh, getting charged. They're actually oh, gonna use them. They, they actually saved them. them a little bit of time. Uh, he's gonna get Harbors. They know they have one now. Um, but it's kind of like a failed gank, right? You showed off a nice new item and don't even get real good use of it. Um, also, that I think there's a miscommunication there <laughs> because of the uh, the Yules coming out. Hold um. Go ahead. I feel like I feel like Earth only gets Ags here for the cooldown reduction, if anything. Like, okay. as a, there's no type of, like, disable that he needs to purge or use ulti during. Like, it's not like there's a Beastmaster or a Bat Rider or something. Yeah. And also have the Lincolns, right? Uh, meanwhile, on Nasco, don't but he, but he is, he is getting the eggs. So maybe he... He changed his mind. Holy Maybe crap. he feels like he, uh, he does need it. I mean, I think he does. Okay, he's gonna buy back. Sunshine gonna come out. Don't know exactly. I don't know exactly where it was gonna go land. Um, I think it's just because like Lincoln doesn't really do much for him if he gets like Spirit Breaker charged and then he gets Frostbitten. Yeah. Like I mean, yeah, the Lincoln stops the charge, so I guess that's good, right? But then if Queen of Pain goes on him, she can just blink in Yules, right? And then I anything mean, else will happen. Meanwhile, the main thing for Ags, I, I would say, would be the oh, cooldown reduction. <laughs> Okay, Spirit Breaker gonna play with his life there, and then they're just gonna walk through the ice wall for some odd reason. Gonna take that tornado to the face, cold running actually out of mana, he's got it back now. Um, no one got dusted, I don't think, so they can kinda do what they want. Just in case BTK get a charge if it's done. Meanwhile, Nasco, oh no, yep, Nasco and uh, Cream raiding, oh god, that Crystal Maiden is gonna get destroyed. Halberg gonna come out, but I mean, it's not gonna stop both of them, right? Meanwhile, Cat has to get out of there. Uh, he has the Yules, he has the Yules and then Blink. And yeah, so I mean, NLD kind of getting back some of the momentum they lost just in those last, what, one and a half engagements, I'd actually say. Um, meanwhile, back in the top lane, BTK just gonna chase away uh, Chaos there. Just be like, you no, know, let me let me hit you one time. They're actually gonna let probably try and kill him. Stun him, Shadow Blade, yeah. no, and is... roll, and that's it. I feel like when you see an Earthshaker running, you should probably just rage. Yeah. Uh, Spirit Breaker actually charging onto Cole here. He got the bash. That's still gonna miss the other pouncy that they don't know who he is. Well, they know he's Shadow Blade now, I think. Um, they should have at least heard the sound cue, right? Um, yep. He went yeah. for the went for the bash. Yeah. Try yeah. and cancel the TV. I, don't think I think Nasco just runs. Yeah, I don't think he hangs around here. 
Uh, he might actually. I mean, they have a ward there. And he does have Witch Doctor behind him. Uh, yeah, I think they run. Now, is there really a scenario in which you ever take the Max Goose stacks, by the way? I have never seen anyone take it. I think it's just because the duration's not that long. Like... Well, it, it's that on top of the fact of being able to use Quill Spray for like an extra, like, you know, one one extra Quill Spray could be like the difference between killing them and uh, you dying. Like, yeah. that's why the 225 health is so good. Yeah. We want Nasco to get charged here. Uh, Dust's gonna come out, and here goes the coconut. I mean, surely he had to have seen it, right? Sunstrike gonna be a slight bit off the mark, but with the death word, they're gonna get that kill. Um, I was like, let's find out what's going on here with uh, Mr. Bristleback. I thought BTK was gonna go for him. Maybe uh, they had. Oh, he's gonna commit that. I mean, he has to know that. Uh, what's your plot? It's not there. The Sunstrike, because it was used bottom. Oh, but he got the stun in the hit! Okay. I think she's supposed to Yule's. The Earthshaker so, okay, there. Well, yeah, yeah. Was like, just so she didn't kind of set it up for him, right? Yeah. That was pretty interesting. Um, probably just you know, a nice panic thing, or maybe even a misclick, right? Or maybe they thought uh, like, assuming... a teammate would be there to help. Not yeah. Really sure. Um, Old just got a casually deafening blast and sunstrike. I don't quite know what's going on. He's just throwing out spells to be throwing out spells. He's literally just throwing out spells to be throwing out spells. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile. Shen gonna be kind of forced up into the base. Um, Coconut gonna come out, gonna save him. Slow Meteor gonna roll out, not gonna hit anything. Cold with no spells. Meanwhile, oh, the Coconut just come back and hit him. I'm pretty sure it did. Oh. Well, meanwhile, Shen's gonna die here. Uh, I 100% blame that Invoker for his, uh, <laughs> his... I heard a sun strike. Spell <laughs> usage? I'll use on Rosh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, He's a literal the, 10 spell invoker. Yeah. And you know, I was gonna say, you know, people talk about like Tourette's and stuff like that. But that's what he did, you know. With his, uh, <laughs> this is spells there. You just press all the keys and press R and hope you get a new spell and throw it out. Um, surprisingly, I haven't seen him use a lacquerty yet. I mean, maybe I'm just missing it. And I'm gonna paint that again. Now, I'm actually kind of surprised, right? So the Shaker has 4.4k gold and hasn't spent it yet. Um, I don't know if he wants to go something specific, like, I don't know, if, I don't actually know where he's going, right? I would think a Lotus Orb, but it may not necessarily be the best thing, I mean, he could get the Silver Edge, right? Um, he, w he was looking into getting the Lotus Orb, but now it's on his quick buy, so maybe he's thinking of, like, a completely different item. I mean, I don't think he'll go Shiva's, but I mean, AC's not exactly terrible, right? Um... They don't really have any high armored heroes, right? That's grand sweet. Well, I mean, I guess Queen of Pain's going uh, Shiva's now, so I mean, she'll have some armor. Well, she is. She's actually got the highest armor in the team Pain, right yeah. now, just because of the uh, the veil in the in the plate mail currently. Yeah. Uh, but Life Stealer, if he has armor on, has 17 armor. Okay. Or sorry, 16 armor. Yeah. Pretty sure he gets four now. No, uh, he's gonna go crit. He's gonna crit Shaker. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like it might be a Daedalus, because I don't think he's gonna get a, uh... Oh no, he is getting a... What is happening? Is that what are you saying? He's getting a blood... He's getting a blood... He's got an Orchid. Yeah. So I, is I he think, just I getting think, Daedalus I think, it's a, I, think it's a I think it's just a casual Orchid. <clears throat> See... <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> casual 4K, I don't... Either way. Um... I mean, because it keeps... Uh, no, just a minute. The, uh, the Queen of Pain. From being but able she to has a Yules. That's, like, that's my thing, right? She has a Yules. I so mean... It, He's just gonna hit her and then, or this, right? Like, just do that. <laughs> um, oh, I honestly feel like it's just for the life stealer. Because what does life stealer have to remove it? Because he can't rage. Yeah. Like, that's, that's, I feel like it's better against life stealer than the Queen of Pain. I think that's what he might have been going for. Well, I mean, I, I just don't think it's bad against Queen of Pain either, right? Because then it forces her. Yeah, to, it for, it, well, it forces her to use herself, right? Instead of using him. Because otherwise she'll die to the uh, what do they call Soulburn? Yeah. Yeah. She'll die to the Soulburn. She'll be able to cast does, abilities. It, yeah. So, like I said, force her to use herself, and then he'll get another enchant totem. If he does it correctly, right, he'll get another enchant totem. Uh, meanwhile, they're gonna take the, the tier two bottom, looking at the. They, I don't know if they necessarily want to go high ground. They look like they're trying to. I mean, Ursa still has Aegis. I mean, they, yeah, they got Aegis and they got Cheese on Invoker. I mean, yeah, Ursa's not the one that's actually up in the front, though. That's the reason why I'm. Oh well, 
Cole got a blink and get the tornado EMP. We gotta get the uh <laughs> Oh, there we go the ice wall now. Death we're doing a little bit of damage to Bristleback, mostly that Nautic. Life Slither Bomb gonna come up on Kareem. He's gonna go swap like a go for him. I hear Sonic Wave over here. Crispin and Ulti, they're all really in really far. Uh no one's died yet. Meanwhile, a lot of people on NLD losing their lives. Nasco's like, I'm getting out of here. It is not worth it. And then he's gonna stop, he's gonna fight. He has he has the eggs. He's just faking it like he's he's bad. You know, like he's in trouble here. He'll pop it, I think, after he gets frozen. Oh, he'll pop it. He'll pop it now. Okay. He now he's just getting kited, right? Like he has nothing to do and he's already used his uh, his ultimate. Yep. And so he's gonna Cole's die. Cole's gonna buy back. Yeah, Cole's gonna buy back. He's gonna put the ice wall down. He's gonna try to go for the, the Queen of Pain now. But now he's ultimately gonna die. It's gonna be a die back here on Cole. Nothing he can really do. Five heroes. Uh, meanwhile, BTK. He's there. He got a DD. Chilling out. I feel, you, I feel like BTK made the correct way of not, not pushing back on yeah. like that. I mean, like I said, my thing was like... Why initiate with the Invoker? Oh boy! Oh, well, God. well, there's that. And we get back, and Sonic Crash screen of screen of pain to death. So yeah, uh, I expect to see a nice little yep, a nice little dip in the net worth, a nice little curve in the experience graph. Um, obviously they're still ahead, but I mean, I think that's gonna give them a little bit of items they would like to have. I think this game. Um, here's what I was gonna ask, is do you think Ags is gonna be a weird item on Bristleback this game? You think it's not worth it? <clears throat> I don't think Ags is ever worth it on Bristleback. Really? You don't think it's ever worth it? The AoE goo really just doesn't, it's not, not needed in my opinion. I think if you have at least three melee, I usually think it's worth it, but that's just me. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. I just feel like you can apply goo to everybody fast enough, like, well, Normally. I don't know about everybody, but you can at least get it on two people fast well, enough, right? Well, just think of it this way, right? On their team, their main physical damage is Bristleback and Lysula, right? Yep. That means that two people are getting hit by physical damage either. So I guess you can consider Queen of Pain a bit, right? Yeah, but either I mean, way. One well, of thing is, like, think about if uh, someone gets snowballed in, right? Like, if you have multiple people get snowballed in, that's that's easy goose stacks right there. I just don't think you need to apply to that many people at the same time. Probably like, especially with a Lysula. Yeah. And you can't even warrant to say, like, if you had a spend, because cleave doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, it, does, it armor doesn't matter to cleave, so. Okay, well. Interesting enough, Nasco's gonna go back for his PKB now. Um, I feel like now Nasco's kinda on the back foot, right? Like, he has to get a lot of defensive items just to stay competitive. Well, I think the main problem that he's having is he's getting slowed yeah. quite a bit. Um, it's always good when you have a. A bristle back with like max warpath, he's just running away from you, and spear breaker can just give moose to everybody with powering haste. So, oh, Sentry gonna spot out a, a DTK. Still gonna be able to commit that though. The uh, the echo slam, he's still gonna get one. Not necessarily the worst trade in the world, right? I mean, they lost their the Queen of Pain for why are they pinging out Kareem? Do they want him there? Um, I think that was uh, bristle back. Oh, because he went out of the ward, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I feel like it's first of all, I don't think it was Nasco pink, but it was definitely one of the... <laughs> the color was... Uh, yeah, the light, light blue. blue. Um, scan coming out, I'm assuming, for the Radiant, just because they, they wouldn't have a reason to scan underneath their own ward. Um, it was actually a Dire scan. Was it? it was, well, really? Okay. Oh, because you clicked on someone on Dire, okay. Um, uh, it also says it on the side, it says the Dire skin. You know, I can't read, so, you know, there's that. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, I think Cole might be in trouble here, he's getting charged. He has to know he's getting charged, he'll just go into yeah, tier 2. Yeah, she canceled the charge. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's because he's going I... into tier 2 and they saw the Witch Doctor there, right? Yep. Um, I feel like Cole's item progression may have stopped a little bit as well. I mean, he has 3.2k, saving it up for what I'm assuming is going to be an Octarine. Um, at the same time, like, I mean, he's just pulling it. Meanwhile, Spirit Breaker almost done with his, uh, his, uh, BKB. And Bristleback gonna go Radiance. How do you feel about that? A nice 40-minute like Radiance. Radiance is good. Um, I feel like, well, sorry. Let me just say, I think Radiance is good on Bristleback. Uh, but his item build is 
very evasion heavy, so they're gonna pick up like an MKB at some point. They're also picking up Bloodthorn on BTK, so I feel like a lot of your defense gets removed when they pick up MKV yeah. and they get that Bloodthorn on you. Now it doesn't say these these wards coming out by the way by uh for Ski are really good. They've spotted out BTK beforehand. They don't know exactly where he's at, but BTK going for the easier kill. Something he's just one shot. Ah, oh, nah, too far away. Um. Well, the good news is he wouldn't have got a crit anyway. Yep. But I mean, he can still kill Crystal Maiden though. That's the yeah. Thing, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably doesn't even need a crit. Um. So actually, Shen's gonna be the one that gets the Silver Edge, by the way. They decided. Uh, I feel like well, PTK will definitely uh, upgrade into it, right? But uh, I think he realizes he needs uh, different uh, different items. Yep. Um. So luckily enough, and well, not talking about luckily, but NLD still sitting at a top. Well, it was gonna be top three net worth, but now with the uh, Queen of Pain passing by. So. <laughs> um, but the real thing is, do you think Queen of Pain's items are actually does does her net worth reflect like her impact of this game with her items? Because I, I was I mean, gonna say she's ten six and eight. Her kills are good, but I, I feel like the items aren't aren't what makes the kills. Like, yeah, I think it's been the, the team. Veil's right? good, the, yeah, because right now she's a maelstrom. I I don't know. He also just got two clarities, um, but I don't know. I feel like there's probably some more useful items. Yeah, I mean I agree. I mean orchid or sheep's always pretty good, right? Yep. Um, Lifestyle's actually gonna go to the AC now. I just saw that. Um, that's the thing, right? I think I think dire team now is just gonna start making a lot of armor items. Well, well the, other is, the other thing is, the other thing is, they're oh, well, they're not gonna be able to get him now. He's just gonna shadow blade and walk away. And all these giving a lot of space to, to Forchkia right now. Yep. And a lot of BTK has his Bloodthorn ready. Gonna use it on Cat. Actually, not even gonna use it on Cat. They just blew him straight up. But meanwhile, BTK taking damage uh, into the snowball though. Meanwhile, Bristle back in the diet. Here goes the, the death ward. Gonna be stopped by the Crystal Maiden. Meanwhile, help this uh, the Spirit Breaker man moding. He's gonna die, so that's four for one for, uh, for NLD. Kind of the fight they need to Meanwhile, it's happening. Cole is ratting. Oh, yes. Nice rat teasy over here, you know. Uh, who played the uh, the Terror Blade earlier? That was uh, BTK. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess this is maybe the theme of their games, right? Just, just keep on. And there's no buybacks. So, I mean, he's gonna if get that Crystal Maiden walks up anymore. She she's just gonna get killed. Uh, he's, he's gonna blink tornado. Yeah. I am I'm pretty much hundred percent sir. And I'm thinking, by the way, that Forskia might have bought too many items there, like because they have no buybacks, right? And this is two, yeah, maybe even see, three racks that you just gave up because of that. And the main problem there is is Bristol bought the the relic. Yep. Like, he, the thing is, like relic is three point eight k gold for sixty damage. Yeah. And Bristleback is. Not like it's good to have damage on him, but I feel like <laughs> buying that item probably costs him the racks, yeah. Yep. I mean, but even if he buys back, I don't think he defends though, right? Like, it's literally because everyone got an item yeah, recently. Yeah, on top of that. Yeah. I feel like Spearbreakers is fine, because it was a uh, BKB, right? Yep. That's fine. Queen of Pain's Maelstrom is like my, the main thing I don't understand. It didn't really do anything. At least yeah, Maelstrom. Done anything so far. But like I said, I mean, they pretty much got Mega Creep. Yep. Oh, Nasca's gonna go in, he's gonna be KB. Yeah. I mean, he's gonna be halberded though. I'm saying, if he doesn't get a kill, I mean, they just get racks. They don't have to even have to yeah, fight this if they don't. He's gonna turn back into racks. Uh, they do have Death Ward up. I don't know if they're committed or not. But they do have it. Um, Nasca's gonna blink under the Quap though. The Quap is an S4 blink, but it's fine. We'll get, <laughs> get out. Meanwhile, the halberd come up on Cole. Cole gonna die, but they do have buyback, right? So, like I said, they got the Mega Creeps. They can just back, they don't really have to stay. I don't know why BTK wasn't was. even in that fight. Yeah, I, was like, I don't know why BTK is even there. I mean, oh, well, Masco kind of going ham. I think he's trying to get BTK. BTK's like, nah, I'm not. Oh, well, BTK's gonna walk around. He's gonna stun. Give him a little bit of leeway, but then he's gonna get a halberd. He's gonna get Sonic Wave. He's gonna go down. Uh, I think that was an early buyback. I don't think it was needed at all. But I mean, BTK will be BTK, right? Oh, that was Nasco. Nasco bought back. What? Nasco, please. I guess he just wants to farm. I don't know. I have no idea. Yep. BTK gets stunned. Echo Slam not doing enough damage, surprisingly, and he's actually gonna get Yules. Oh, he's gonna get Yules. 
So even he's gonna fall now. I think, yeah, he's, he's definitely dead. Uh, that was a dieback by him, I believe, right? No, I don't know. He has a 90 second cooldown, or respawn time, so I think that means he had to have died, right? Nope, he, he has buyback available. What? No, he doesn't. B BTK does. No, he doesn't. Buyback cooldown available. Oh, okay, you mean the, okay, you mean like that. He you said dieback. Well, okay, but I mean... <laughs> He didn't have buyback available, but his cooldown no. isn't there. It's... I was like, I'm looking at the gold, there's no gold there. Uh, Shen's going to not get that kill. And Shen's actually gonna die now. So now I feel like you know, he's just throwing throwing bodies at them now. For for untold reasons. Oh, but that first hit bash would come out on punch it, but now he's gonna run away. A lot of the kiting will come out on Nasco. No longer has his, uh, his BKB, but he does have his Ags if he ever decides he wants it. Tornado and Deafening Blast going to come out. Another Yule's going to come out for the Queen of Pain. She's no. going to get hit one time. Going to be dead. Um, the gem going to be on the floor. Spirit Breaker just going to charge away. Going for Nasco's stuck the in the trees. He's fine. He's at home, right? He's a bear. Bears live in the forest. He um. speaks through the trees. Never mind. <laughs> um... So, even though NLD kind of had this big throw there, I'm pretty sure it's reflected in the graph. I mean, they kind of just made, oh, it's actually, it's a nice dip, it's a nice little bucket right there. Um, oh, Life Stealer's gonna be there, so I think, okay, so Nasco gonna walk away. Uh, Tony's gonna come out and help there. Um, he does have Aegis, though. Yeah. And Cheese. And he's just gonna go back in. Yeah. I mean, he has nothing to fear, right? He's gonna kill Pungent and BTK there. The back end, Mega Creep's finished in the game anyway, so that's gonna be the end of game one. Uh, very, I don't want to say it's an exciting game, I mean it was, but I mean it's a very kill heavy game, I mean, 41 to 33 in a 42 minute game. Um, you know, about a kill per minute for NLD, and uh, what is that, a, about a kill every minute and a half for, uh, for Skia? Don't ask me math. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, but yeah, like I said, so this is the, uh, the first game of Grand Finals for Gamescon 2017. Um... So that would be NLD taking the first game. Uh, I'm actually about to go get food. <laughs> and unfortunately, I don't think I'm casting the rest of these games. Um, I'll find out, come back and make an announcement. But like as far as I know, I'm supposed to be going to uh, out with my family. Um, I heard there's another stream for these games. I don't know if it's on YouTube or uh, Twitch or anything like that. Um... I'll see what information I can get, but I can't promise anything.